Welcome to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, we're going to be going over the calendar view right here in Tick Tick, and it's all coming up next. So in today's episode, we're going to be going over the calendar view here in Tick Tick. It's going to be another short video, so let's get right to it. So here you see we have opened up the inbox here in Tick Tick, and this is Tick Tick for the web version. If you go over here, uh, you have either the calendar today, uh, next seven days, and if you have just signed up for Tick Tick. Uh, these might be in a different order. I think the inbox and the calendar is down towards the bottom, or I might be wrong, but I know the calendar is not in that exact spot. You can move these into uh, different areas that you want them in. Uh, just a handy little tidbit. But today's episode, we're just going to kind of go over the calendar view. Now, if you watch any of my other episodes here on Tick Tick, you will notice that I am a big fan, a big proponent of the calendar view. This is where I spend most of my time at here on the calendar. Um, granted, I do have lists here, but I usually keep those pretty minimized. And I've created my reoccurring tasks in there and I have a little um, list area for single action tasks. So here's, there's two kind of uh, train of thoughts in my head anyways, uh, concerning uh, how I organize my lists. I have reoccurring tasks, and single action items. So if it's not reoccurring, it's a single action. Something that needs to be taken care of and it's not going to recur again. And that's usually where I put things in the in the list. So I usually keep that list pretty closed and I have everything date dated whenever I put it in to my inbox. I'll eventually date it and put it in one of those lists and then I can just continue to look at my calendar view to see what I have to do as far as my agenda for the day and when I have them uh, dated. Now sometimes some of my tasks are reoccurring on a day or a date, but not necessarily a time. And so if that's the case, when I'm doing my weekly review, I will see those tasks up here. Now right now you see some tasks up in this area that don't have no date on them, but these are habits that I'm testing the habit function. I'll let you know what I think about that in a later video. But typically, if I have a item that I have not put a time on, it'll wind up up here as a reoccurring task, and then I can drag it to a time that fits my schedule for that time, right? And so, it's really, really handy to have the calendar view open all the time so you can know what you're going to be doing. Because maybe you have like 10, 15, 20 items. And if you don't have any idea of when you're gonna do them, you'll wind up pretty much not doing hardly any of them and fast forward them to the next day. And then you'll get in the habit of fast forwarding them to the next day and you never get any of them done. And they just sit there. Sad, I know. That's what I found out, or actually that's what I found myself doing in Todoist. But I'm not, I'm not doing it here. I'm, you know, like I say, the calendar view is really helpful. Anyways, let's get back to the actual uh, tutorial here. So if you look here, I have it on the day view. I spend most of my time here on the day, but you also have the weekly view and you have the monthly view, right? The weekly review is kind of useful if you want to uh, move things around um, to another, um, block and you want to see what some blocks or slots of time you have open so you can say well you know what if I'm looking at tomorrow says I don't really think I'll be able to do this one thing so maybe I need to move it over to here and you can get a bird's eye view of where you need to move stuff to right and the monthly view it's nice I don't really spend very much time here in the monthly view uh, but I do spend a lot of time in the daily view and with the daily view, you can do all kinds of things with it. You can move stuff around like this. Um, you can, you know, like I say, pretty much do everything you need to do. You can click on it, see what your evening tasks are or evening routine is. Uh, you can fast forward it by clicking on that and just 
moving it to another day or what have you. Um, you can also click here and type, hey, I want to do something at 8 a.m., you know, whatever that might be, right? And voila, see, it's real done easily. You can right click on it, move it to the personal area. See, there's all kinds of different things you can do in the calendar, and believe it or not, I do a lot of my stuff here. Uh, a lot of times, instead of going to the inbox and putting what I'm going to be, what I think, thing that popped up in my head, I might say, well, you know, this just came in my mind, and you know what, I think I can do it today. So I'll just go up here and click on a blank spot and just say, um, take trash out, right? And I'll just put that up there. And then later on during the day, I see that up there. I say, like, you know what, this one thing canceled or I got done with this thing quicker. So now I'll go ahead and drag that down there and put it into that time slot, right? And go ahead and take care of it. So these are kind of cool little ways that you can, um, you know, take care of uh, tasks uh, in your calendar view. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to show you all why I really love the calendar view. In later episodes, we'll be going over a little bit more detail on the calendar view. Um, but for right now, this is just a basic overview, okay? And so anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button right down below. And guess what? Did you know that I put out more videos well probably you do probably, maybe you've watched some of my other videos who knows but in order to see more you have to subscribe and hit that notification bell and please do it it does help our channel grow and uh so i can put out more of these kind of videos anyways with that being said i want to wish you all a wonderful week and i hope to catch you in the next episode take care